Welcome one and welcome all, baby, to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. And in today's video, I just want to document and share my experience growing, okay, raising, okay, the fry, okay, of, okay, <laughs> the, okay, okay, talk about it, okay. We're raising the fish. All right, fell pals. So the first thing that you will see once um, your black convicts fish, once they lay eggs, you will see them. They're very small. They might be mistaken for anything else, but you want to look for something similar to this. This is day one. I have the thermostat on 85 degrees. After um, the heat reached 85 degrees, it took them about, it took, see, I am causing agitation. <sighs> causing agitation. And you guys, if you don't know, if you get too close to the mother and her young, okay, as a defense mechanism, they will actually eat most of the eggs to try to keep predators away. Now, after they have laid the eggs, as you can see, they have burrowed all of the rocks from the bottom of the floor to create a, a cave, okay? Believe it or not, they are actually able to get up under the pots to give you the illusion that nothing is even in there. Now, um, because this is my first fry, I do not want to agitate them too much, okay? We're going to wait to, until day seven when we have moving fry but right now as you can see those are eggs okay this is the best i can do because this is a very intelligent fish very intelligent and such a survivor all right foul pals stay tuned so foul pals on day one you will have one parent leaving out um getting the food i saw them putting all of the food inside of this pot which is gone but i think that the male was putting the food inside of the pot. So when the mom left the, the eggs, as she fans the eggs 24 hours, okay, for the next three days, she's fanning the eggs, they take turns. He will go back and fan the eggs and she will briefly come out to get something to eat. Okay, fell pals. So you're gonna have a lot of fanning if you didn't know when, once they um, spread their fins like that, that's them in defense mode, okay? So we're not going to be too aggressive. Hey, fail pals, welcome back. Today is day three, and um, as you can see, no rainbow fish is in the aquarium. I was going to get it out and take it back upstairs, but before I could, I could not find it. So I looked, I looked, I looked all behind the black thing, behind the thermometer, and baby, next thing I know, honey, baby, that that rainbow fish, that rainbow guppy, honey. This is all that is left. I, I'm supposing they are holding it until the eggs hatch so the eggs will have something to eat. Um, as you can see, that's the father that, um, his name is Reggie, after my husband, by the way. And these fish had names before um, I knew I was going to document all of this. The fish in the back, that is the mom, her name is actually Rufus, um, but my daughter said um, she mistakenly called her um, Rufia or Rufia or something like that. So I'm going to call her that Rufia, honey, but her name Rufus. So um, I, am, I am disheartened. Yes, I am, but the parents, they just don't play, and I am bringing too much unwanted attention to these eggs. Okay, the eggs is day three. They are still not wiggling or moving, but the parents have already made everything nice and comfy for when they do. The shark fish for now is still in the tank. Um, I really don't have anywhere for him to go. Stay tuned. So it is now day three on my convict cichlid fry journey, okay? And as you can see, the fry is now moving about. Some would say this is the wiggling phase. 
the parents are more protective than ever. I had to take my shark fish out as they ate up the guppy completely in less than a day, okay? In less than a day, I had, I had no idea. I really didn't. So not to agitate them too much, but as you can you see, they are moving about. I believe once the fry are able to swim, they would probably move them over here to the larger pots, okay? Where you can see they have already pushed all of the gravel up to the point where sitting from my couch, I would not be able to see any of this, okay? Anything. So right now, the fry will um, come out, as you can see. They picks it up and spit it back in. I make sure not to agitate them or have my daughter agitate them as some would say they would eat some of their fry to take precautionary measures for the safety of the few. So thank you so much for staying tuned. I don't know what this means, but they are doing it on day five. As you can see, the children are in the back. I have introduced a new pleco, not yet out of the bag, and a new snail. And now they are doing that, which I believe is mating. Could it be possible they are mating already while the fry is still only four days old? Welcome back, Fell Pals. It has now been five days since the eggs were laying. And as you can see, they have now been moved to their new location, which is going to be the bigger pot. The parents are still very protective. It appears to be more fish than there was before. So if you see only a few eggs in the beginning, I promise they will um, fan out okay now it actually does appear to be at least a hundred and they don't come out of the pot not of the bilk when the mom keeps them all the way in the back and i'll zoom in as much as i can you can this is a iphone 11 pro max honey and this is as much as she can do there we go i cannot even see it so it's been five days since the eggs have been hatched, okay? So it's an ongoing process, but you gotta stay tuned. It is now day eight, and ever since day seven, they would move the fry from the big pot to the small pot anytime I am downstairs, okay? They would also move them from the small pot to the big pot when I'm not downstairs, okay? The mom and the dad would take turns, okay, watching the fry, but as the days progress, they become a little bit more, less protective, okay? As you can see, she is very agitated right now. And if I was to put my hand, um, so all of the fish, including the snails that I've put in here, has not stood a chance at all. So let's take a closer look at the fry. Very microscopic. And what I am noticing, there is always more than just one group. I believe those back there may still be hatching. Okay, but there is always seems to be another group. It's always two groups. Okay, but they have become a lot less um, protective. They would not even let them come up here. But... Stay All right, Fell Pals, so on day eight, I am so sorry, but on day eight, the aquarium, the glass was really, really dirty um, because I have the temperature up to 85. I am skeptical that they might have the ick virus or any kind of virus because they just don't look at, as if they are in the best of health. So what I actually did was added water to the aquarium and I did stick the um, cleaning brush inside and clean the whole mirror and clean, including where they are. I moved the pot. I took um, that decoration out and I took out those snails. 
So I don't know if they're going to eat the fry. I don't know what's going to happen. But I definitely will keep you updated. But you got to stay tuned. Okay, Fail Pal. So after my shenanigans, um, they, they actually did eat most of the fry. This is all that is left. Um, which doesn't appear to be a hundred or two hundred at all. So um, no tea, no shade. That's their is their fry to kill, their fry to eat. Okay, this is a learning experience for us all. Um, you know, I deal with depression, and I do believe my depression is linked to me rearranging my home, my aquariums. Um, fooling with them knowing that they have babies in there because my daughter was telling me the whole time daddy don't do it don't do it but do you see all of that staining honey i just can't do that this is what was left after i tried hard very hard and you see it and to me they don't appear to have the best of health so i thought i was doing what was best for them they have always looked perfect and now so i was just a little scared they had freight um ick disease so this right here i turned up the heat to 85 degrees after i cleaned it up and i'm just hoping everything works itself out all right it is now the ninth day and because they ate most of the fry up i had become a little bored and so i added a goldfish in there and i'm going to suppress they are feeding and the goldfish has only been in there honey probably 30 minutes and honey she's already on the way out the door she's on her way out the door they are not playing any games so all in all very entertaining for me and such a shame for the fish such a shame this is the only fry that I see left, honey. They eat their own fry. And the um, fry, they still are not widespread. The remaining are generalized in a concentrated area. And stays with one of the parents. So it has been less than a hour and as you can see the goldfish is now in dire astray. They have really taken a toll on this darling. They have really taken a toll on her. So they are vicious when it comes to protecting their fry. Yes, God, they are. You might be heard it heard it before, but now you're hearing it from Fab Pal Drill. Honey, they, they are vicious of the 20 fry that they left in the bunch. Watch this. Oh, that is some viciousness. That is viciousness. <laughs> and just for my pleasure, for my entertainment, I took the other fish out, fed it to my Oscar and now have added a totally new goldfish in there. So I will let you know approximately how long it takes before they um, destroy this goldfish, okay? Stay tuned and stay tuned. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. For my entertainment, I have now added three goldfish into the tank with the fry. And uh, my fish are a little bit more afraid of me than they are of anything else. <laughs> but I, I promise you, it's a show. It's a show. It's a show that you would want to see, okay? Some excitement, honey. Some excitement. Yes, honey. During these coronavirus time, honey. Go get you one of these 10 cent, 22 cent gold fish, honey. And get you some vicious, aggressive fish. Girl, honey. You talking about Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> 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 
So I have now taken out my own fry in case she decides to eat the rest of them. But right now it looks like they are um, picking them up and, put, and <laughs> they picking them up and putting them into the pot. That's what it looks like. But honey, I have disrupted the whole ecosystem, honey. The whole environment, honey. According to their living situation, honey. I done interrupted it all, honey. Just for me to have a show. But like I said, uh, I did save, um, I did scoop some of the fry out for myself that I am going to keep, okay? I'm going to keep these, and then the rest of them I'll let you guys know. Is this what we really doing? Is this what we really doing? <laughs> Nigga, you the nigga, you jaw the jaws or something? What? Okay. I said nigga. I can't say nigga. Okay, Fab Pal. So it is um just a couple of days short of two weeks. And um um they ate, you know, they ate most of the fish, so the conclusion is what I chose to do was I put the goldfish in here and watch them obliterate them like in, literally in less than an hour. I have two that's in here, but I'm just showing you guys that that's what I'm doing as a form of entertainment because my Oscars have become very, very lazy. Okay, so I just give them the dead fish, but I let them kill them first because they kill them in no time trying to um, protect the fry. This is the fry. They actually have the fry train to where when I turn the light on, they all hit the ground like they're doing now. So it's, it's pretty boring, but I mean, it's pretty interesting as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed my journey raising um, black convict, sickling, fry, okay, zebra, um sickling okay honey i hope you enjoyed it until next time so it has been one hour since i put both of the goldfish into the tank as you can see you don't see them because honey they are dead and deceased mama and daddy plays no game when it comes protecting their fry although they have eaten up half of the fry because of me stressing out the aquarium